Ty, they're probably going to want you to scoot up a little bit to the microphone before they yell at you. Thank you. Ty, how much fun is it playing with Teron? Uh, it's a blast, man. I mean, having the teammates we have around, especially Teron being like one of the main guys in the defensive line room, is just something special that we have this year. He just called you a big muscle. I don't know how to take that, but do you, do you, is that a compliment to you? And I mean, it's worth yeah, because you know, if you see me as like the biggest, strongest guy on the team, that be able to have the muscle and stuff like that, so that's why I got the name. How have you taken? that step to become a starter the last two years to be playing a ton of snaps. Do you know what you did or did you just think it was just, just keep working? Uh, I think it's just consistency. Every day I came to practice, like I, I wanted to be a starter. I mean, every day, no matter if I was starting or not, I just wanted to come to practice, go to games, having that same mindset that I can make a change in the program. Have you seen that change in yourself? Oh yeah, for sure. These past two weeks have probably been like one of the best, best weeks of football I've played since I've been here. Can, can you, um, a little more detail on that? Where do you think that growth is in your game? Where do you think you've taken that big step to allow you to get to the point you are now? You're starting one of the best teams in America. What, what's been that, that thing that's so much better? I think it's basically experience. Just being able to come to the games. Every single game, I learned something that I didn't know before a game. Be able to take that to each each next week and be able to learn and, gut and adjust and grow from that. And every, every week, just get better and better at it. Essentially, it's confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, is, do you just do you just feel like a just a player who's more prepared? Yeah, definitely more prepared. Just be able to like just say that I can do this. And I'm able to just play. You know. When did you feel that? When did you feel completely comfortable like you are right now? Uh, I think when my first start in Northwestern, that's why I felt comfortable. You know, I feel like I can do this. Like I can play this role in this defense and play. You felt comfortable in that game? Yeah. <laughs> is, is, that, is that a bit odd to feel, feel comfortable in something like that? Yeah, a little bit. But, you know, I have my team around me. You know, I have a guys that I can trust on 11 guys on the field that's going to help me out on there. Are you the strong? Are you the strongest? You said you, they, the team sees you as the biggest and the strongest. Are you the strongest player on the team? Yeah, you can say that, yeah. <laughs> can you say that? We well, could. Yeah. Can you say yeah, that? Yeah, I can say that, yeah. We can say it and be lying. Mm. Uh, what, when, when you think, ask Teron about this, when you think back to a year ago at Ann Arbor and the way that the, that, they were able to run the football and the change in this team in the almost year that's gone on since then. How do you look back at that day up there and the difference that that maybe that day specifically has created in you all? Uh, I think ever since that day, I mean, this has been a change. It changed ever since the team has came together. You know, we had a goal. We have one goal in mind and we want to beat the team up north. And us coming together, having a more better bond together, and having the same goal, and us playing together, just we have something special this year that we want to do it together. Ty, when uh, you talked about the confidence of being in the starting lineup and doing that a couple of times, when Coach Jay first told you that you were going out and going to start, what did that what did that mean to you? How did you respond to that? I mean, honestly, I just felt like it was just like an accomplishment, you know, because you know I work every single day, like being able to start. It's just a um, surreal feeling to be able to do this. I mean, even if I wasn't starting, I just want to help the team be able to do what I can for the team. Is it better to earn that the first time or that you did well enough that you got to do it again? Uh, I think it's been, like being a consistent, be able to consistently be a starter, I think that's. It took Devon a lot longer. Yeah. Some bragging rights going on there now? Nah, nah. <laughs> Have you heard from him at all? Have you, have you talked to him since you started starting? And what have you heard from him? Uh, yeah, you know, I talked to him at least once a week. He just said, uh, just keep going, man. Because, you know, you never know when this opportunity can last and not last. So he said, I'm proud of me. And he's telling me to keep working. Hey, would you say you are the biggest and the strongest of the Hamilton brothers? I, I think it's close. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like a silly question, but because your pioneers are really so important. How do you go about it? What's more important for doing your job or being disruptive? Uh, I think it's kind, of, it's kind of both of them, like being able to do your job, stay in your gap, because, you know, it takes 11 guys to know what they're doing, because it'd be one person there, be outside the gap, and that could be the difference between winning a game and losing a game. So I think it's better to be in your gap and be just destructive in that gap. When you're doing your job, that means sometimes you're not going to have a stat, because the linebackers got yeah. level with the tackles because yeah. you opened up holes for them to do so. Yeah. How do you gauge? I had a good day today, even if the box score doesn't say I did anything very well. Uh, basically, like saying that I have a good game is having my teammates, like linebackers have, I don't know, like 10 plus tackles, something like that. That means I did my job, so they're allowed to get the tackles. What's it like watching uh, Tommy just shoot the gap and just come out of nowhere and, and 
bring the ball carrier down. Man, there's nothing like it, man. He's playing as fast as he's ever been, man. Just coming down here and just watching him make plays. It's just so exciting to see, especially being on the field with him. How much part do you guys do the defensive tackles take in, in linebacker stats, basically, like those kinds of plays? We like to say it's us, man. Yeah. Like, we, he, if it's his tackle, it's our tackle, you know? When you just another question about a year ago, when you you talk about the difference in the team, obviously there is a, a camaraderie, there is a, a, a brotherhood investment mm -hmm. that you all seem to have made. Just from a physical standpoint, up front defensively, how different do you all feel, and what do you see as the biggest difference physically? What you're doing now versus yeah. what you're doing a year ago? I think the, uh, us practicing way harder. It's just it's been a motive since last year. We didn't. Like towards the end of the season, we kind of slowed down practicing. I think as we grow into later on in the season, then we're ramping up practices more, working out more. And I feel like it just goes into play how we're playing right now. It's just working more and practicing harder because we really want to win this thing. It's, it's almost like using, you know, obviously you've got a huge game next week, but it's almost like you're using Maryland as a metric of that speed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Trying to build, ramp up, build up. It's, it's almost like that's what you're saying is that you yeah, want like that to be God. the sign that you're ready. Is that you play yeah. great in this game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, def definitely. Like, we're not gonna take them for granted at all, but definitely using them as someone that we want to dominate them. Like, we want to show everybody in the world that we we can hang with everybody else. I think it was uh, Coach Knowles said this week that you're a good pass blocker, you're a good run stopper. Which do you feel you excel at more? Uh, I'd say I excel more at the run blocking, even though I can't pass much if I have to. But I feel like uh, run blocking and run destruction is like probably my specialty. What does that take to be a stellar run stopper inside? Uh, it takes like just being able to know your plays first of all, and then being able to be in your gap and know no like techniques or something like the offensive line, something something like that, like how they block, something like that, and then using like your strength and abilities to take advantage of them and then make a play. Can you can you be a selfish defensive tackle? Uh, not really. I mean, you, every every play you either getting double teamed or something's happening, or you're freeing somebody up, so you can't really be selfish. Hi. This group, um, Teron said the biggest thing for you guys is the mindset change. Yeah. What was this all awesome like for you guys? I mean, it was hard. It was hard. It's probably just since three years I've been here, it's probably been the hardest off season because we knew how important it was to win against the team on last year, and we didn't do it. We didn't finish. So we kept that mindset. And we showed, we played our minds that loss we had every single day during the off season. We were able to prove this year that it, it wasn't meant to be. Was that loss talked about a lot in the offseason, or was it just no? Every day. Every day we talked about it. We have posters in the weight room, all the TVs, just how, it, how the score was. And it's just like motivating us to just what we want to do better, what we want to do. What you guys are doing now up front, I think many would think you guys are one of the best competitive lines in the country. Did you feel like, I mean, it's a lot of the same guys. Like, yeah. What do you, you think has been the biggest change? For you? Well, I mean, besides having like the new defense, I think just – like I said before, just having the mindset that we can do this, like having the confidence to be able to walk out there and say we're the best defensive line in the country and be able to dominate anyone we come across. I just mentioned this to Teron, but two more questions. Defensive line is, well, interior line, like the edge rushers are the sex because they get the, the sacks and everybody yeah. loves that, but it's mm -hmm. interior sets the defensive line, starts there. Yeah. What kind of mindset do you have to have to play interior and then the, just how much depth do you feel like you guys have or how important has that depth been this year? Uh, I think having the mindset is that we're going. Even though we may not have a play, we may not get as much tackles as the rest of the guys out there. You know, just having that mindset that you still want to go out there, you're still making a difference on the field, and then definitely having like the rotation to be able to go as hard as you can for a certain amount of plays, and then you know that someone, your teammates, got your back, they'll come in and do the same thing, and then we just over and over again for the rest of the game. Ty, uh, maybe you already questions. asked this. Uh, you ever go to your brother? Oh uh, yeah, like I said before, I mean, I talked to him at least once a week, just um, asking and picking his mind. Cause, you know, he plays at the next level where I want to be. He just he gives me advice, stuff like this, like little technique stuff that I can do, things, little things like that. And it's just ultimately, ultimately just be proud of me and what I'm doing. That's it. You know, you look at him like, dude, stop. Like I know what I know. You know what I mean? Like bigger brother, tell the little brother kind of how to do certain things, or is it something that you honestly, you know, take to heart and, and cherish that he looks and wants you to, to look and play the best that you can? 
I'll take it to heart. You know, I mean, he's been here before. I mean, I can't complain about it because he's done everything I'm doing. He's done it before. So, I mean, I have to learn and just pick his brain about it. Ty, uh, Jim Mills said yesterday that you're a cold-blooded gentleman. What, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure, but I mean, I feel like because you know I may not talk the most all the time, but you know when I'm on the field, I'm gonna give it my all and I'm fearless while I'm doing it. Do you feel like you have a different personality when you're on the field than when you're on the field? Uh, I mean, on the field, I'm not I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm just gonna let my play do it, and on the field, I'm just I'm just gonna be me. Does Teron mentor you, or have you mentored Teron? Uh, I mean, I mean, we all know different things. So I feel like we meant to each other. I mean, if he doesn't know something, I always help him. If I don't know something, he helps me. Thank you, Ty. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Ty. Thanks, Ty.